Today let's take up uh, dissolution of partnership and I'll uh, continue with realization account. In our first session, uh, we took up realization account and I told you about the journal entries uh, for transferring all the liabilities and assets and also for realization of the assets and liabilities. Now let's continue with that. Now the first thing I'll uh, take up in this is transfer of assets to settle the liabilities. <clears throat> now in case uh, there is a creditor in the firm to whom uh, I mean in order to settle the account of the creditor we transfer uh, some assets to that creditor so that the uh, his liability is settled off in that case we don't make any entry basically uh, I'll take up a small example in this case. Supposing we say that um, <coughs> the firm has to pay rupees, uh, let's say, 25,000 to a creditor. And uh, he agrees take furniture of the company worth rupees uh, let's say 15,000 right and whatever is the balance the balance is paid in cash now here see 25,000 is what the firm owes to the creditor but he has agreed to take assets of the company, that is furniture of the company, worth rupees 15,000. So 15,000 is settled off by transferring that asset to the creditor and the balance rupees 10,000, that is being paid in cash. So for that, he will make the entry, that is uh, realization of, uh, sorry, settlement of the liability, realization account debit to cash or bank account this 10,000 right so basically uh, we are not making any entry for that 15,000 rupees which is uh, transferring of assets to settle the liability so in such questions where you where you are given that some asset is transferred to a creditor then you should not make any entry for that part of the asset that is being transferred to settle the liability if there is some balance which is paid in cash the entry will come only for that right now the next important thing in realization account is the realization expenses expenses on realization now let's look at the various cases of this expenses on realization and what are the journal entries pertaining to that a very important uh, topic in realization lots of cases are there in this expenses on realization so you should carefully read what is given in the question and then put the correct entry right now the first case uh, uh, simplest one <clears throat> when the expenses are paid by the firm and also borne by the firm this is whatever is the realization expenses realization account to cash or bank account the realization expenses are paid by the firm and it's also borne by the firm means they are paying it from their own this thing I mean uh, they are they are bearing the amount right okay now, um, if the question just says realization expenses paid, right, and no other details are given, then it is always assumed that the expenses are paid by the firm and also borne by the firm, right. If, uh, put it like this, if no details are given regarding the realization expenses, it's always assumed <clears throat> it's always assumed that they are paid by the firm and realized and sorry and 
born by the, the first case, right? <clears throat> now, let's come to the second one. Uh, supposing, uh, okay, when the realization expenses are paid by the firm and uh, but are to be born by a partner, sorry, born by a partner, in that case, it will be partner's capital account debit to cash or bank account. The realization expenses have been paid by the firm but they will be ultimately borne by the partner. Right? Okay. Being the realization expenses borne by the partner and paid by the firm. Wherever you are asked to make the journal entries in a question, you should always write down the narration for that question. Don't forget to write down the narration, right? Now, the third case, <coughs> when the realization expenses are paid by the partner, but they are to be born but by the firm. In this case, it will be realization account debit to partner's capital account. Here the realization expenses are paid by the firm, but they will be borne by the partner. Right? So, partner's capital account is credited in this case and realization account is debited. <coughs> there is one more case here which is when the firm has agreed to pay the partner a fixed sum while the actual expenses may be more or less than this amount. <clears throat> Here we are saying when the firm has agreed to pay the partner a fixed sum and the actual expenses may be more or less than this amount, right? So the firm has to give only that money which they have agreed to pay to the partner, right? So basically, <coughs> in this case, the firm has to bear only this amount, only the amount which has been paid by the firm to the partner right whatever fixed amount so in this case it will be realization account debit to partner's capital account with whatever amount the firm has paid to the partner right <coughs> this if the expenses which are being paid by the partner are actually higher than what uh, the firm has paid to him, then the partner will have to bear the uh, excess amount himself, right? And if the actual realization expenses is less than what he has received from the firm, in that case again he doesn't have to return anything to the firm. So, whatever the firm is giving, that is final, right? Now, the next one, 
if all the realization expenses are paid by the partner and he has also agreed he has also agreed to bear the expenses in that case no entry will be passed no entry will be passed there can be some other cases in this <clears throat> supposing i say there are two partners in a firm right one partner pays the expenses and the other partner and the other partner has agreed to bear the expenses then it will be the partner who bears the expense the partner who bears the expense and the partner who pays the expense there are two partners here the partners who bears the expense will be debited and the partner who pays the expense will be credited suppose there are two partners a and b right now i say that uh, a pays the bills 10000 as realization expenses and b has agreed to bear this expense right in this case it will be b's capital account debit <clears throat> to a's capital account with rupees 10000 okay so these are the various cases pertaining to the treatment of uh, expenses on realization so we have seen uh, five cases here five or six when the expenses are paid by the firm and also borne by the firm right nothing is given in the question this is to be assumed right then we have seen some other cases here so uh, whenever you get a question on dissolution it will it will have uh, the realization expenses which has to be transferred to the realization account so depending on what has been given in the question uh, you have to decide on these uh, journal entries right so with that i'll end the uh, session on this uh, expense on realization in our next session we will look at some more journal entries and then we will take up a small question bye